before this video starts, you guys, I have to quickly mention something. I know there's not gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of people that would say that this in particular subject is not a uh, like a simple subject. This is my personal opinion on this in particular car. If you actually want to hear your personal opinion, I recommend you comment down below and let me hear what you think because I know, I know there's gonna be a lot of people in America that actually loves this car. So without further ado, let me introduce. Forza Horizon 3 car review, the 2017 Ford GT. The Ford GT, probably one of the first supercars that I actually got in this game. And to be honest, am I impressed? You are not, you're going to be quite surprised with me by this point. Now, you obviously don't know that this was actually my first supercar that I got in this game. A lot of people should obviously know that by now. I loved this thing back in the day. Uh, this car was actually made in 2017. It was in Forza Motorsports 6 and it's now in Forza Horizon 3. And it was a car that I wanted to drive. Did I love it? Yes, I did. The, act, the car actually has an EcoBoost V8 engine that produces 650 horsepower. That says quite a lot to a car that probably looks as perfect as any, uh, like a dream car, a proper dream car for me. Sadly, it's doom and a bit of gloom. It's more doom, but there's a bit of gloom. You see, I kind of have a mixed opinion on this car. A lot of people say that I love it, but to my actual response to that, I say that it's not true. I kind of hate it at the same time. Now, this is mostly because of the shape of the car and how it was made. Uh, it took them about an extra, oh, let me think, about 12 years to actually make this Impact Silicon 4 GT. It started off with the, uh, the 1966 uh, GT40, which made Le Mans history. And then it got up to 2005, which they made another one, uh, more of a modern uh, GT, but it wasn't supposed to be a GT40, it was just the GT. Then it took them another 12 years to make this one. <laughs> now, it's a bit of a big leap uh, with uh, technology nowadays, but I think with this car, it's not very technologically advanced. I'm not saying that it's crap, I'm only saying it's just a... Ford could have done a little bit more of a better job with the shape of it. Now, I'm not saying that Ford in general are crap. I actually love Ford. I love the ex the, uh, the Escort, the Capri, the Mustang for crying out loud. I adore that car. But with this one, it's not very... I still love it. I like it. But there are a few problems with it that I have to discuss. But I won't have enough time, obviously. <laughs> but let me go through a few statistics stuff here. The brakes on this thing is actually pretty sweet, the steering is nice, the shape of the car I'm still a bit meh at, but you get, you catch my drift. But, the only reason why I'm only doing a car review on this thing instead of anything else, is that sadly I just had to point out that back when Ford was big, was starting to grow, when they beat Le Mans, they only made a couple of the GT40's uh, Mark II uh, ver variants and they were only built for racing as of usual. Now because of Ford's success and they, want they wanted to get more of the mixed brands, so like the civilian normal cars like this one that I'm driving now and the racing types and let me say that I actually have a racing version of this uh, Ford, which will actually turn up in a few seconds. But, <laughs> is it good? Yes it is, it's fun to drive, but you don't see a lot of people driving it, in Forza in particular. Now I, I'm pretty sad for this, because I love the Ford GT, and by the way, I have to admit, it's a pretty sweet looking car, you can't deny that. But anyways, further on, uh, like I said, they've actually made a racing version of this thing. And sadly, it's just the same, but just with added a 
large wing to the back. That's what I can only, that's what I can basically say about the racing uh, GT, the Le Mans racing car for GT. That's all I have to say really, it's, it's not very, it's just too simplistic, you just never expect to see anything like it. But anyways you guys, that's what I, I <laughs> sorry for the short video, but to be honest, it's been a bit of a handful at the moment, so hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.